Hey, Jim, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Monica, how are you doing? I'm doing great, it's great to see you. Same here, uh, I wish it wasn't virtual, but you know, we have to make sacrifices these days. At least we, at least we can speak virtually. <laughs> yes, we can. So I've got another question for you today. <laughs> okay. So we've been hearing a lot from Oracle product managers and leadership about something they call the converged database. Mm. What is that all about? And in particular, why should Oracle DBAs care, especially for 19C? Uh, that's a great question. What it really comes down to is I see the role of Oracle DBAs going forward as delivering just the right data at just the right time to just the right people securely. And one of the ways we can do that in 19C is with a, just a whole cornucopia of features that lets us access data external to a traditional Oracle database, an RDBMS if you will, right? Wherever it lives, whether it's an AWS object store, uh, whether it's a, a flat file somewhere out in uh, uh, another storage device, uh, or even if it's in, say, an HDFS file system or a Hive table, we can access these data as if they were inside the database. In memory external tables, which get a pretty significant bump in 19C, uh, they already exist in 18C, uh, but there's a couple of cool features that get uh, added on in 19C. And one of the things that I think is just the coolest thing since sliced bread, it's called hybrid partitioned external tables, which unfortunately the acronym sounds like hyped. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little bit of marketing, if you will, built into the acronym. <laughs> But the idea is you can actually, with one DDL statement, one create table statement, access data inside your Oracle database as well as external to your Oracle database. And it's just one select statement because we basically combine internal and external data together inside one table. And that is revolutionary. It's, it's amazing. And the other part of this, the other part of this uh, revolution in the way the date database world is changing, as I see it at least, is that we're gonna need to be as whatever the new Oracle DBA role is, we've got to acknowledge the fact that organizations are really uh, needing to respond much more quickly uh, to application development uh, needs. And you know, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis as I speak, and look at how many organizations have been able to quickly manipulate and gather data to figure out how to do everything from get more food to the right stores and more product to the right stores to even contact tracing, right? Inside uh, um, Oracle's COVID-19 project, for example, that some of my uh, friends and colleagues over there are working on right now. So that's a perfect example of how quickly we need to bring things to market. Uh, and when push comes to shove, how easy it is now with things like uh, the tools I mentioned inside the 19C database, but even more so things like Apex and machine learning, stuff that's already built inside the database. So why move the data to the database? Why don't we just move the database, really all the marvelous code and everything else that's built into it, things like machine learning and other algorithms that we can access, powerful statistical and analytic features. Let's just move the code closer to the data. Does that make sense? I think so. So you're saying converged database really means move the code to the data and not the other way around. Precisely. Exactly right. And that's really what we mean by converged database model. 